I don't think we really explored the cemetery very much earlier, if you want to see me looking around here for that. We we did explore the cemetery. No, we had that cutscene happen, and then he, like, fell down into a grave. And... Oh, yeah, you're right, yeah, okay. Yeah. Anyway, can I say what I was going to say real quick? Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, the Washington Monument, to right. Cool. Wow, it's like we're really there. Nah, it didn't crack in half from Spider-Man. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, well, okay, so what I was going to say was just that it makes me mad that when I skip stuff, because I'm like, I either have plans or I don't care, that I lose out on views, right? Uh huh. And then when I cover stuff I really care about, because it's not trending, people don't see it. Mm hmm That makes me mad. I don't like that. I remember YouTube used to not be that way. Do you think that when Smosh, when like Anthony uh, Padilla and Ian Hecox, or I think that's their names, right? I don't when, remember Ian's last name. When they were running Smosh, this is I'm just making a point. Do you think that everything they did was trending, or do you think that they made real videos that they cared about and people watched it because of that? Yeah, because people liked them. It was that, that one. And now you can't... You, <laughs> nice. Sorry, I had to go... You just can't do that anymore. Like no. it, it just doesn't feel like you can do that anymore. Like I'm, I don't know when this will come out. I'm in the position now of like trying to create another channel more focused on RPG games. Um... And you are trying to start doing, like, an ASMR type thing. Yeah, because, ASMR. Because we're trying to go in on some niches on other channels to hopefully actually make money. I was going to do and, the ASMR a while ago, but then I kind of got shy and we had too much work. What? The birdcage. Is there... The birdcage imagery, is this important to the story, or does this just have to do with how she feels trapped like a singing bird in a birdcage? That one. Singing bird. Okay. In a bird cage, I yeah. like that. That's interesting. Did you ever notice that? Yeah, I thought it was interesting and cool. Did you put that together? Yes. Okay. I thought it was really interesting. <laughs> Check that um, box on the table when you get over there. Do any of these open? Uh, we'll see. <clears throat> what were you saying, though? Look, HMS Providence. This is where oh, they disassembled that ship. Damn. Okay, so they they brought this stuff down here. Yeah. So they've been killing people and taking their stuff for a while. Wow, that's dark. They do be murdering, though. Um, all I was trying to say was not like, you know, woe is me, I'm the only real person left, I'm angry, or whatever. Because there's plenty of people that are very real on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I'm For just, real, bro. I'm just saying that it makes me mad that if you want to be real, you're likely going to be punished for it. Yeah. It, it really is upsetting, because it's like, it incentivizes everyone to just be a fake asshole and not care. And I, one of the things that I loved when I was growing up about YouTube was... Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> that was a little dicey. That was I got scary. a little crazy there. Oh. One thing that I loved about YouTube growing up was that it felt real. Yeah. It felt like the people making the stuff cared. Now it feels like a production and yes. like a money-making scheme. But even the productions felt good. I remember... Jake from Vsauce 3. I love mm. his channel. And Vsauce, all their stuff is productions, but you know what you can tell? They care. Mm -hmm. It's like a passion project type production. Mm -hmm. They put a lot of effort into it. Mm -hmm. And now it feels like a production where it's like, alright guys, let's phone... Oh, one morning. Not, not them, but I mean everyone. A lot of it feels like a production where it's like, alright everybody, let's phone it in, we'll get some money if we make this. <laughs> Wait, that guy's crying. Can you look out there? Oh, no. I don't know. I'm trying to. Has he been turned into one of those things, or is he still on fire? I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. Maybe they didn't think you'd come back here. Maybe. I don't know. I, but don't you have to come back here? I'm just wondering he's how, he's on, how he's crying if he's on fire. I don't know. Maybe he's just crying because he's, like, all burnt. Maybe he didn't die from it. Oh. That's horrible. Um, anyway, I just hate that. Mm -hmm. I don't think I have anything else to say. You didn't seem to have anything to add to it. No, no, um... You need a Kleenex, by the way? Oh, I'm okay. Sound a little sniffly. <laughs> Yo, something that, that I really did love from YouTube back in the day was, like, the old school Let's Plays, when, like, it wasn't really a thing as much, and people were just playing games, and it was just whatever game that they wanted. And they got views on it because people actually liked their personality and liked watching, like, games and stuff. And I remember indie games especially were a huge thing for a while. Where people loved watching Let's Players play indie games. And now, 
you basically have to play the biggest, best, newest game on the market to even try to get a view on your Let's Play. And you have to stream it. Yeah. Unless you're an established person with millions of subs. I miss when streaming wasn't popular. Yeah, I I don't really prefer streaming because like you have to put things on hold. So you either have to do this. You either have to put stuff on hold to watch it, or you're just watching it like a video anyway, where yeah. you're not interacting with it. Yeah. And I don't know. I just find that annoying. I also think sound design in streams sucks. Like even for the best Let's Players ever, if you watch someone stream a game, it has... It has bad sound quality compared to a Let's Play. Uh huh. Because you know what we can do in Let's Plays? We can turn up dialogue that's important. Yeah, you can we balance can the audio. Edit it in post. And uh -huh. we're not always the best at that. Um, I'm the best at it, personally. Like, I'm going I'm to full on admit sometimes I make mistakes with audio and stuff, but the ability is there. Whereas with streams, you, have, you can set a delay, but it's not really big enough to do a great job with the sound quality and balance everything. I, there's some people who are better at it than others, but it's just not easy to do. Uh-huh. And, and you don't get that with streams. Like, you'll... You if, mean Let's if, Plays? No, I mean, like, with streams, uh, if there's something that's really loud going on, it's not like the person doing the stream can just turn it down for you. Like, you're just going to hear that in your headphones and be like, Ah! Whereas you, with a Let's Play, somebody will turn it down. You can have a stream board where you where you can more easily control that stuff, but it's more of like a hands-on thing you have to do in the moment, and it's much easier to make mistakes, and uh -huh. you're not going to be able to isolate tracks as easily. Like, I could isolate this game track and put something on loop right now if I wanted very easily, or I could cut us out for the next <laughs> 10 minutes of dialogue and uh, it's not you know what i'm saying like yeah. it's just it's easier to edit and i feel like people don't appreciate or care about that which is odd to me um because they used to uh -huh. because it was a higher effort thing like it was now yeah. you know, I, I don't know i feel like a lot of streaming is just you watch the person because you like them i don't what's... understand why people don't care about high effort productions anymore i wouldn't even say a let's play is a high effort production but it's higher effort it's higher effort than streaming um, but my, I think my big complaint though with that is that it frustrates me that people watch streams because they like the streamer uh -huh. a lot of times, uh -huh. but they don't watch videos because they like the video creator. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Like, like people, there's a built in audience who will watch Ninja. Like they will go watch him. He could stream a Barney let's play tomorrow. Uh -huh. And yes, he will get a tiny fraction of the views. But he has so many people who follow him that he would get still a ton, right? Yeah. And because those people like him. Whereas, like, for me, if I stream a certain topic, it's much more likely to do decent. And if I stream a niche topic, it's going to get nothing. And I feel like that's the problem I have with it, you know? Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is that unless you're huge, it's like it's impossible now to be successful. And that's really irritating to me because it also sucks because there's there's kids who are young who want to do that stuff, you know, who like, I have these problems and I'm in a position where I have 127,000 subs on my main channel when we record this. Mm -hmm. I have 12,000 subs on this channel. And you know what this channel averages per video? Maybe 300 views. Yeah, I know. It's kind of upsetting. You, you just can't. People don't watch like they just they either don't get notifications or they don't have time or they just don't watch and so then it's like well how is someone who's new gonna do it like i don't think new let's play channels, basically it's just screw you i just don't think new let's play channels can really even succeed unless they're from a huge channel base like if if pewdiepie tomorrow started a let's play channel it would succeed because mm -hmm. the dude has built it up and he worked for it you know, years and years and years. I would love to see him do a Let's Play channel. That would be I used fun. to That's love when he, he used did to do. when he did Let's Plays. That was so fun. Nice. You you solved it by brute forcing it and not knowing what you were doing. No, you didn't notice what I was doing? Nope. I was looking at this. The arrow kept pointing to the I... ones I was supposed to cl click on. Oh. You see the compass? I thought, I thought you were just guessing which direction it was supposed to be. No, I was following the compass. Oh, well, sorry about that. So that's a, that wasn't very nice. I was actually using my brain. Cylinder hero. Is someone going to notice that the cylinder's off now? 
I don't know, maybe. Oh no. I guess we're gonna have to kill him. With what, your zero ammo? Yeah, <laughs> with my zero ammo. <laughs> you wasted all of. Hey, don't be mean to me. You should save, and you should see if you can get back to the Grand Hall. Do you? Oh, oh, this hey, guy look, noticed. He is coming. This guy noticed. Go, Dude. just go over to the left. Go over to the left, and just wait. He's like, why is my cylinder gone? No, stop, stop. Why are you following him? Just stop. Oh, I, I wanted to touch his butt. Yeah, I liked those suspenders he was wearing. He looked cute. New composer Thomas Edison, wanted for touching ass. Thomas Evans, please. Last seen at the Overlook Hotel or wherever we are. The Overlook Hotel. Ugh. The true villain of the game is you. They all put these things on their heads so they didn't have to see the face of the infamous ass grabber who came to town. The infamous ass grabber? <laughs> This guy's still, like, he's still clenching his cheeks from last time. They don't call him Tom Ass Evans for nothing. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> there was a kid named Luke, <laughs> and he, he and I used to bully each other. I don't think this matters. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, like, share his name. He's a nice guy now, but, which, interestingly, a lot of the people that bullied me in high school are nice now. Um, but... I picked on him, too. Mm -hmm. He was a smaller guy, so a lot of people gave him a hard time. So he would, like, punch up at people, mm -hmm. like, bigger than him, uh -huh. to try and seem tough. Like, tougher than he was? Yeah. But on the inside, he was a nice kid. Uh -huh. Um, And I remember one time, I just hit him with Luke ass, and he didn't know what to say. Because <laughs> no one had ever called him that before. <laughs> It's not even a good insult. No, it's not. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It's not a. It's not a good insult at all. It was a really bad insult. Oh wait, was is it because his name was Lucas? So you called him Luke Ass? Yeah. Oh okay, I get it now. It wasn't funny though. I think it's funny. It's not a good insult. It's like Tom Ass. Yeah, that was how I thought of it. Oh. 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 Oh, let's go! let's go! Me after I see the third Captain Marvel trailer and it shows the same footage again. Go in, go in, go in, go in. <laughs> Did you hear the music? Yeah, I heard the music. I also saw you stop and do nothing. <laughs> what did you think of that? I thought it was great. Whew, there we go. Off we gizzle. That's what British people say. The music in this game is good too, by the way. But yeah, like by the time I finished uh, Elden Ring, it, it didn't even get 300 views. I'm sorry, baby. And I know to a lot of people, they're probably just like, oh, he's just complaining about his views again. That's not really the point. The point is just that I've been on this platform for years at this point. I upload very consistently. <sighs> not trying to be annoying here it is free entertainment right like mm -hmm. it's like it's genuinely like you just have internet you have access to youtube mm -hmm. yet you can't succeed at it easily anymore or or even even with a lot of hard work it seems like you can't succeed mm -hmm. and i don't understand why they've created that ecosystem for people like it's it's so dumb because what if you do hit a point where a lot of the people who are doing it now burn out and they don't want to make stuff anymore what, then what do you do? You've made it so nobody else can grow. And nobody else wants to anymore after, like, what has been going on. They'll just get tired of it. And I don't know. That's just kind of my... I don't is think that was... Is there a specific way I'm supposed to be doing this? I just don't think that was right. I think that you're supposed to do some kind of puzzle, right? Think so? Look at them really quick. What do they say? Bulldog bitter... Dragon Side, Scare Hotel Stout Beer, and Victoria Golden Ale. Interesting. Let's just push them in order. Nope. Turn around, turn around. What's the, what's the, oh, oh, it's just the fan. Sorry. That was smart. What? That they put that there. Oh, they, that they put the fan there because yeah. it's scary? Yeah. Because it actually makes you think that there's a person walking by. I don't know what, what we're supposed to do there. Maybe we'll find out later. Do you have any idea? Uh, 
know, is it possible there's something in this room that we can look around at? Because there's a bunch of beer behind the counter. This was the bar, right? Yeah. This was... So this was where, what, you check in and then there was a bar? Or was it just a bar? No, so you check in over that side and then you can come over here and there's a bar. Interesting. Let's see, um... Because there's beers in here. There was something about the nervous tonic on the wall. Crompton whiskey. Oi, Crompton. Oi, gonna have a Crompton whiskey and a Oi, cheese whiskey. I, I got a second fiddle. She touched my Crompton, I say. My Crompton. Uh, I almost put my Crompton in her lacrosse net, I tell you what. Oh, why? <laughs> Bangers and mash. We need to play more British games. I think we'll come back to this. British people are funny. British people are funny. I like them when they lose wars. <laughs> oh, you hear the walking? Mm-hmm. I it's do like hear the right walking. It's on top of you. We could hear a heartbeat. To the beat of the drums! <laughs> <laughs> I think he's scared. Yeah. Wouldn't you be? Maybe a tiny bit. Should we cut ahead till you figure out where we're going? I think maybe we should go to the elevator. To the alley! And instead of going to the basement, we're gonna go up. Okay. So we're not cutting ahead? No, no, because okay. I'm gonna just head on over to the basement real quickies. Makes sense, Mike Pence. I actually really like the atmosphere here. Me Wait, too. Was that the same room we had been in? Yes. Okay. Just making sure. And I just saved, so... I thought that service elevator only went down. I don't know. We're gonna find out. Okay. Oh, I guess it does. Yep. Wait, wait look at the top button. Is it broken? Yeah. It looks broken. Oh, no, no, no. It's on the ground and basement. So that's a service elevator. So what they would do is they would just... The staff would use that to get down to bring things down to the basement or up from the basement. Would they go to Pound Town? Yeah, they'd go down to Pound Town. <laughs> Anything on the desk? No, we picked up the only thing that was on the desk, I think. Could you sit down and put a fake mustache on and start telling them what to do and they'd think you're the dad? That would be epic. Yes, yes, um, uh, I'm going to need you all to leave. I'm on sabbatical till next Tuesday. Did you see the door back there? Uh, the door over here? Yeah. It leads to the bathrooms. Oh, okay. Let's look at the yeah. bathroom. You don't know there's nothing in here. Hello, you want to the bathroom? Dude, dude! Turn around, turn around! Turn your right! Do you not hear that? Did you not hear this? Yeah. That's what I was saying. What was that? A, a heel tonic. Oh, get out of here! Shut the door! Get out the door! Close it! Wouldn't you hear that? I think there's something in the dresser. You think so? Yes! I don't think there's anything in the dresser. Look, you don't see anything in there. There's nothing in the dresser. Alright. There was something in that toilet, though. What made that move? I don't know. A ghost? But there aren't... There aren't ghosts, though. Not here. I don't know. I don't know what's supposed to have made that move. It was scary, though. It would have been awesome if there was a person in there, right? I feel like it's creepier that there wasn't. You think so? Oh, hey, how'd I miss this? Oh, another part of the map. Nice. And okay. the map. The map. The map. The map. The map. The map. When you meet up with a guy on Twitter you thought was 30, but he turned, or you thought was 12, but it turns out he's 30. <laughs> I'm the map! It looks like there's a couple things in the Great Hall I didn't look at. How do you know they're, oh, there's question, question marks. marks. Yeah. So, by the way, I wanted to tell you really quick. I think I was too hard on this game at first. I think it's a lot more interesting now. To be fair to me, the first hour and a half of gameplay, we fought against literally, honestly, representatives of probably the worst classroom I can think of. Which These classroom? These people had no idea what was going on. Like, they were barely there, you know? They were barely there. Like, they were home. Or they, they, were, they were alive, but nobody was home, I think is the nice <laughs> way to say it. And 
you were expecting me to like be like, oh look, it has a save room. It's like Resident Evil. It's a great game. It is a great game. I love walking. And now we're actually getting to the point where, you know, despite the fact that, oh, Captain, my captain at the helm here is a giant moron who wasted all her ammo. Who, me? Um, Am I the captain? Things are actually happening, and the people are actually hearing us, and it's actually interesting. It is interesting, isn't it? I'm glad you like it. So, I don't know. I'm just saying that. I, don't press that. Do not press it. Just don't. I know that you think that I hated the game or something. Benny, a way up and get a fun. Benny, my favorite type of noodles. <laughs> That's not even a type of noodle. Penny? Oh, I, th I thought you said Benny. No, I did not say Benny. I said Penny. Benny. I used to think those noodles were called peen noodles. They are called peen noodles. Go out that door to your right. Over there. Here, I'm going to help. the front door. Go, go to the front door. Can you People go outside? People can't see your arrow. So I have, I have a remote that does like a Wii type thing where it will show an arrow on the screen because it's a smart TV. So now I'm going to show Jill when I want her to look at something. I'm going to press the arrow. Thank you. We should do that in Bejeweled. Oh, that's smart. I know, right? Too bad we don't have that. Look at the dog. Yours. These are over there. British Bulldog. Scare Hotel. The Welsh Dragon. Wait, wait, hey, 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 hey. That's... Queen Victoria. That's the puzzle. So, Bulldog, Hotel, Dragon, Victoria. Bo Bulldog, Hotel, Dragon, Victoria. Bulldog, Hotel, Dragon, Victoria. Bulldog, 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 Ohio. Hotel, Dragon, Victoria. Bulldog, Dragon, Hotel. Victoria. Oh, wait, no, it was Bulldog, Hotel, Dragon, Victoria. Did you ever try and make songs to remember something for a test? And then when you got to the test, you're like, I don't remember that song. And then you fucked it up. Yeah. yeah me too. Oh, no! Oh! The guy hit you! Go! Why do you stop running? Shut the door! Keep going! I got stuck on a table! He literally is right there. You're such an idiot. Why'd you save? Why'd you waste the save? How do I waste the save? Well, now we're gonna have to. No, no, no! Don't even use it. Don't use it. Okay. How are you gonna get past this guy? You can't open the door. What do you lock it? Oh, he's right there. I like how he can't come in here. Why didn't you wait? Like, are you getting impatient? No, I just didn't know what to do. Well, you could have just waited and he would have... Just back up, back up. You could have just waited and he would have walked past you if you had just not walked into him. That makes sense. You don't have to keep walking at all times. You can just stop. Okay. I don't remember the thing anymore. Bulldog. Hotel. Dragon. Bulldog. Hotel. Dragon. Dragon Victoria. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, wait, turn around. They're running. Okay, what's near the kitchen? The theater? I could barely hear that. You think they're gonna hear that? Oh, that guy did. Oh, geez, that dude is off to the Olympics. You know, there used to be a kid who tried way too hard in gym class that we'd always make jokes about him wanting to try out for the Olympics. Sorry, I got nervous here. That's okay. Go to the theater. Go to the theater. Just send them somewhere. Waiting area? You guys want to go to the waiting area? Yeah. The waiting area. I hear there's a party going on. Was there anyone in your school who tried way too hard in gym class? Like, I don't mean they tried. I mean, like, they tried, like, their life depended on it. Like, they were a gym class hero. There was a guy named Mark who did that. Everybody not, hated him. Are we not supposed to share names here? There was a million people in this world named Mark. He probably made it up. This is not his real name. That's a pseudonym. It stands for Massive Anus Robitussin oh. Kid. God. 
To be fair, you were playing like shit. All I did was walk over there and he ran at me. I wasn't even doing anything wrong. You could probably smell you. He was like, man, this Tom ass guy hasn't showered in weeks. It's probably over there where the dank smell is coming from. If you like this game, you're probably going to love Alien Isolation. So it's like this, except you can defend yourself limitedly. Mm. Like, there are some weapons, but it's not uh, a heavy combat game. Mm. And it's in outer space on a space station, and you are stuck there. That sounds really fun. And the Xenomorph is hunting you, and also, you know, you watched Alien with me, right? Yes. First few. You know the androids? Uh -huh. Mother has also gone haywire, and the androids are trying to kill you, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, that sounds scary. I want to play Alien Isolation next. Maybe for Spookabyss? Spookabyss? It's going to be way after, because this game is taking longer than it was supposed to. This was supposed to be like a four-hour game. What? How long have we played it for? Uh, two hours and 20 minutes. I'm sorry. It hasn't even been its allotted time yet. I'm they just saying. Let him cook. I don't know how we're going to get through this in the time allotted. We have four hours exactly for our speed run. We're almost at the end. We are? Yeah. Wait, really? Yeah. Of the game? Yeah. There's no boss fights. Yeah, I mean, you have to go upstairs for the boss fight. There's only one boss fight? I think there's two. So we're almost at the end of the game? From what I can recall... I don't think we are. I don't believe you. I believe you believe it, but I don't believe that's true. Okay. In two hours and 20 minutes, you think you're at the end of the game? Probably not. Yeah, probably not. I would say we're at least halfway through. Well, you better be over halfway, because you only get four hours, and then I'm done. You're not going to play with me no more? I quit. Okay. I remember being up here. This is a terrifying area, I tell you what. Probably even more terrifying when you wasted all your ammo. And all your drinks. Elizabeth, are you there? I've managed to reach your first floor. That means second floor yes, in, in American. Mm -hmm. oh, hopefully you'll be able to find a way up to me now. But please be wary on the first floor. I know that my father and uncle devised all manner of dangers. Watch your step. Is someone still in the attic with you? I've not heard anything outside this door for a good while now. But I can still hear them searching around the other rooms. Uh, where should I look on the first floor, yo? Yo! It's mainly guest rooms on that floor. The library too, and my father's snug. Whoa! I'm not sure. Perhaps the library. It's snug -uh. Take care, my Thomas. You have not earned that hard R, Elizabeth. That was not funny. Yeah, it was. It was a little funny. Come no, on. No, it wasn't. Why not? It was not. What are you, like, the black defender now? Where, like, if a joke comes up about the N-word, you're like, No, please! Not Don't. the blacks! <laughs> you can't say the blacks, Jill. Why That's can't racist. I? Why it's can't black I? people. It's not the blacks. You can't say that. Oh, I can't tell defend my people. You sound like a villain from Get Out 2. <laughs> I am 1% Nigerian. They deserve to be defended by me. That's fair. Oh, wait, check the top. Check the top. Cool. Compton Whiskey. Look to your... Okay. All right. Well, at least you can have a nap. I don't want to That's true. That bed bag. looks fairly clean-ish. How... Are we... Is there a limited amount of ammo in this game? I don't think... I don't know. I Maybe. think there is. There probably is. You want to read this? Yes. February 18th, 1742. <laughs> oh, sorry. I have dyslexia. Okay. <laughs> it was within the shattered hold of HMS Providence that we came upon it, <laughs> sealed within a glass paneled and iron cage, held in place with thick chains with two Cs. How they captured it, to where it was being taken, and to whom? I cannot say... Badly injured by our wrecking, we were fortunate to find it in such a tragic state. I just want to say before you go on, the the face that you make when you're doing your British accent is like a man with like his teeth out and he's like put pursing his lips. Yeah, that's called a British accent. <laughs> For had it begun to sing, our doom would surely have followed. 
In the weeks after, even in its weakened condition, from the effect its song had on my penis, oh my men, <laughs> nay, even on a woman's mind, if you could even say there is such a thing, haha, I believe we have captured P penis Oni herself, <laughs> the daughter of Melpome men, the muse of course and tragedy. I don't think it's for us, Penis Oni. Whatever, it looks like it is. <laughs> What to do with such creature, with such power, that those that listen to its song seem to fall under its spell and become more suggestible, even begin to worship it. I have a mind to see if it can be used to lure more ships upon the point. The point in my pants, that is. Oh. But if there was a way to control its power to learn its song, my eldest Isaac has suggested that his betrothed prudence is willing to accept, attempt it, and I have given her my blessing to do so. Is Jebediah the granddad? Yeah, I think Jebediah is grandpa. Epic. Hey, look, there's pictures. I, I really liked that British accent you put on there for us all. Well, I had to do something to make this game entertaining. Zing! Hey! Just that's enough. not very nice at all. I like the game. I like it, too. We actually bought this game... I don't know if you can even... I, I mean, maybe I should look... Wow, nice jukes, dude. Call you David Jukes. Put on that white hood and join up. So, we actually bought this game on limited run. Mm -hmm. Cause I think it's usually just digital. Yes, I think it is just digital, except for we got the physical because they did a limited copy on limited run. And I was so excited when it came out because I was like, <gasps> look, Bobby, I played that game once. Looks like people are trying to sell it for $50 to $100 now. Wow. Whereas on the PS5 store, it's only $25 at full price, I believe. Oh. And it usually is less than that on sale. Like, I saw somebody saying that they bought it on a sale for less than $10. It was like 5 bucks. Nice. Why, why are we leaving? I don't know. I don't know what where we're going. This down? Or yeah, up? that's just where we came from. Wait, is it? That's down to the secret entrance. Oh, right, really? Yeah. Hey, I did a bit of a wibbly wobbly. Oh, look at that. Look that went. Oh, okay. I did a bit of a wibbly wobbly. Oh, my goodness gracious. Of course, it the house is I do say. Until you're trying to steal my thunder with the accent. It's not going to work. Sorry. I invented I, I, British people. I listened back to some of the recordings where we did a British, British accent in Sherlock Holmes, and you could not really understand a word I was saying. It's like real British people. Yeah, that's how it should be. What's funny is real British people, at least modern ones, don't sound like that at all. <laughs> Wait, that's a puzzle. Oh, I suppose you're right. I don't have the pieces for it yet. No, it's like a Resident Evil style puzzle where you have to find the parts of the crests. Mm -hmm. I kind of think this was partially inspired by Resident Evil. It was probably inspired by the mansion. You think so? Everything else seems like it's just its own thing. Mm -hmm. Look for ammo while you're in here. Is this true, Mother? Did you play a part in this madness, too? I would believe my grandfather's ramblings insane, but for what my father has intimated of late, if it were not for what I have discovered myself, that our fortune is born from blood. The price we pay for the siren song. The same song you sang, Mother. The song Father now wishes me to learn. It is utter madness. And yet, it holds my father and my uncle, held even you in its thrall. What can I do? What should I do? I cannot give in to my father's demands. Not in good conscience. Not now that I know the truth. That our family legacy is founded on wrecking. Founded on a creature of myth. On a cult dreamt up by grandfather. A cult in which you served as its priestess. How could you? No. No, I shall not. I will not be a party to this. There must be some means within my reach to stop this, to end all this darkness. How do they not hear the recordings? I don't know, maybe that guy started, that's why that guy started walking over here.
Do you remember this part at all? This is that bathtub area. <laughs> I do remember we're going to encounter um, somebody. I don't particularly. I'm not particularly excited to encounter. Oh, oh! Get out of there! I should stop pressing buttons. I don't know why you keep pressing buttons everywhere. I want to see what they do. This is back out to the main area. Mm. Try going down that hallway all the way. Hello, I'd anybody stop over sprinting. here? I'd stop sprinting okay. because that's how they hear you. Hear me? Pretty sure you're only really supposed to sprint if you get seen and you're supposed to run away. That makes sense. Look, there's a fella over there. She from Parish. Kind of looks like it from here. <laughs> oh no! What? Oh I'm no! I'm just saying I can't. St I'm just saying I can't tell. All right. He could have been Parisian. Look at those hands. You no, can't really tell. It looks it, like he got burned. Yeah, so. I don't know what's going on there. Again, glad they can't hear the asthma attack. That was kind of an asthma attack, wasn't it? Oh my Is that goodness. Harry or Henry Hughes? I think that's Henry. Well, how would he be here when he's still crying in the forest? Now, now. Maybe they moved him. Wait, is there something going on over here? Somebody happening? I heard something, but I don't know. Is there a way to get in there? I don't know yet. Turn around. Stop for a second. Just turn around. Look over to your right. What's that? Is there a button there? Oh, no. This is just like a drawer. Sorry. Did you see there's like a piece to that one of those crests in there? Yeah. On the on the table, right? Yeah. You're gonna have to move. You could have gone around him, I feel like. Oh, okay. Well, now he's gone. So how do you think Wolverine would deal with this situation? Oh, we all know how Wolverine would deal with this situation. Walk around, walk around, walk around, walk around. There's spores in here. Spores, spores. Let go, let go. Breathe. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. We want to... We want to go get that ammo first. Because they might hear that. Just wait. Just wait them out. I feel like you got no patience here today. I'm sorry. I think there's going to be something over in that. Just grab the ammo real quick. Okay, never mind. He heard me. You... Do you know how he heard me? I wasn't even near him. Well, you could have just grabbed the thing and then moved on. I couldn't. He was coming after me. He gonna kill me. Where are we now? Oh, we're just back over here. Well, stop your sniveling. It's not that bad. Jill, what? enough on the British accent, okay? Sorry. Let's just move on. How do you think this would run on the Switch? I don't think it would run terribly. What do you think? It's kind of a small game. I'm wondering when it came out. I 2020. Think it... Oh, it did? Yeah. I think it could easily be scaled down to run on a system like that. Me too. It just wouldn't look nearly as good. Hmm. I wonder why he's coming over here. I don't know. Did he, like, hear me? I think he must have. Wait a minute. What? It's on Nintendo Switch. It is? Yeah. Cool. I didn't know that. See, there you go. There's your answer. Yeah, it probably runs fine then. PC, Epic Games. PS4, PS5, Xbox X, S, and One, and the Switch. Nice. It's on pretty much everything. That guy looks like Scarecrow. What? This guy apparently has the best hearing in the game. Why don't you just let him kill you and just reload? Just let him kill you. They, they already waste all your health. Fine. 
Well, there's no point. Like, you might as well just let him kill you, and then you just walk down the hall again. That was loud enough. I don't understand. How did that guy see me? How did he see me? I don't know. Yeah, I thought they were blind. I wasn't making a singular noise. Was I making a noise? I don't think so, but I, I don't know. I don't understand. That was not fair. I'm sorry. I got the ammo. Nice. Good job. Are they gonna hear this? I don't know. Easy to hear that. Go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a note behind you on your left. There's a guy coming up, by the way, on the left. Brother, I beg you, consider before you act so recklessly. We devised and built the murder rooms together to feed the creature and to fund our plans. I cannot continue to indulge your predilection for wanton destruction. Wanton, but yeah. Oh, wanton destruction. <laughs> it may be in the past. Oh, it may in the past have been acceptable when we had guests flocking to the hotel in their droves, but incinerated bodies and their effects are a waste we can no longer afford. Guy coming. Sounds like. Yo, wait, stop. Don't go back there. Stop. Keep going. Why are you... What are you doing? I'm sorry. What were you trying to do? I don't know. I was just looking. Do I have to do something with this? this Looks like it, yeah. Key. Unfortunately, we don't have that yet. So this must have been a murder room? I think so. Huh. I mean, look. Yeah. And look, this guy's literally like chopped in half. Look. That's disgusting. Do you see his entrails? Yeah, I do. That's disgusting. Yeah. Are we gonna have to blur that on YouTube? Mm, I don't know. I didn't think we had to make a big freaking deal out of it and go show it and zoom in and like. Oh, know, sorry. Touch ourselves to it. Oh, but look, yeah, look at me. Look at this. What's the deal? What, let's just keep playing. Sorry. Oh, all right. I want to find the one it? French zombie who runs away. He's back. Are you saying that because the French run away from every war? Basically, yeah. Uh, I mean, not uh, they don't really, but like it's just a meme in history. That makes sense. Because they surrendered and retreated in a lot of wars. And why did America want to be allies with them so badly? Because they had a really good navy, and oh. we had no navy at all. That makes sense. There was no official real U.S. Navy at the time. I mean, they were starting to have a couple of boats, like a couple of ships, but... Mm -hmm. It wasn't really a thing. I believe after the Declaration of Independence and near the end of the war or at the end of the war is when they started forming an a official United States naval force. Uh -huh. um, but that said, I learned that history originally from Assassin's Creed 3, so make of that what you will. <laughs> that makes sense. So it could be fake. We don't know. I'm pretty sure that history portion is real, but... <sighs> I'm getting sick of these guys crawling around the place. <laughs> Did you cough quiet, eh? You dumb fuck. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay! What happened? That thing went off! Like, as if it was gonna kill someone? Yeah! So this was a murder room, for sure. Oh, for sure. But what's the deal with all, like, the mannequins and stuff? I don't know. Odd. Okay. Crank wheel? Is there a way to, like, lift that and go through there? Oh. Ooh. That's dangerous. Yeah. The blood goes all the way over here. Jeez, that must have been a tall dude. Or somebody crawled after getting cut in half. Oh. Which is the worst option, because that's horrifyingly sad. Oh. I, I, I 
didn't think of it like that. Well, there you go. Thanks. Can we not be sprinting when we're not being chased, please? Sorry. It's not what... It isn't how you play the game. Well, I was just going to the save room. I know, but we don't know if anyone's around. There's nobody around. Now you, there's somebody around. Since you saved, are you wanting to be done? It's 5 a.m. and you were going to add it. I want to be done in just a minute. Okay. Why, are you doing something important? Hey, look. You gonna bring these. Oh, don't do it. Is it a puzzle? Yeah, I, I want to show you what I'm going to do. No, I meant the ring and the bells. Oh, I don't know. I think the ring and the bells might be a puzzle later. What was that noise? Are you gonna die? He's gone now. What was that? What did that do? Yeah, I don't know, but it scared me. Didn't it scare you? He's kind of hot. He is kind of hot. What's he trying to do? I don't know. Show us his nips. Which mission accomplished? He has no nips. I well, don't they, see any. They took him. They took him. They're making a nip monster. Is this Henry Hughes now? Is this what they did to him? You think? I don't know. Is that... Wait, he's hitting it, and then you hear the second hit? That's his schlong slamming into the wall. He's got a huge schlong. Epic. See? Cool. So how do we get in here? To see it? I don't know. <laughs> what was the point of going in there? Just to open that door? Yeah. Wait, this, did this open the door behind him? I couldn't... Oh, yeah, it did. It did open the door behind him. Okay, so stop, stop running. Stop running. That's too loud. Keep it down, Henry. Keep it down, Henry! Some of us are trying to sleep. You know, he looked a little less tubby than he did in his, like, cobble pot picture. It might not even be him. Otherwise, maybe they helped him with, like, a weight loss program for monsters. You think so? But he named- he called himself Stop Henry Hughes. moving! Hughes. Just move over. It makes me so mad when you do Dude. that. When you think you can rush the enemy. Do you want to play? No, I don't want to play, but, like, why would you want to rush the enemy? Sorry. Is there anything over in that area with all the spores and stuff? I don't think so. Can't get over there right now, though. Is that Henry? I think he left. Yeah, yep, that was, that was him. Alright, so you got the broken crust piece. Is there any ammo in here or anything? Um, not seeing anything. I would just think there would be something else in here. There's not a single item other than the crust piece, okay? I didn't see anything. Weird. Do you have a favorite part of this game? Uh, the later on parts. I'll tell you when Move we get there. Move to the side and stop. that, but I'm glad we got out of there. Where's the save room? It's right over here. Is that that guy that we let out ahead? Yeah, that's Henry. Hi, Henry. Okay, don't get so close to him. Why do you do that? I don't understand. Stop. Did you suck when you played this alone? Don't be mean to me. Well, why do you get so close to them? Can we be done? Yes, we could be done. 